Good morning. Welcome back to the program. A big thanks to the Village at Winter Park Resort, uh, winterparkresort.com. They have a lot going on up there. Uh, shops, restaurants, year-round activities, and of course on Friday nights they do live music uh, from 4 to 6 at the gazebo and then movie night, and that'll continue through Labor Day. Uh, hanging out with Jen Fanning, the executive director of Grand County Rural Health. And we're talking, we got a massive topic to tackle. I mean, you guys do so much for a county, <laughs> and it is abstract, and it is hard to understand, so that's always a challenge. But uh, what are some things, I, I know we talked about food in the, in the break, and how mm -hmm. tough it is to try and bring those unhealthy people up a little. And uh, mm -hmm. you can always start with diet. It's a huge one, and our whole culture is not necessarily based around that. So yeah. you know, what, how, what have you learned, and what are some things you've Sure, absolutely. You know, the I think the biggest topic right now is health insurance, right? And everybody thinks that that's a sil silver bullet, and that's really not. Um, the cost of, of health care is rising astronomically compared to anything else um, in our gross domestic product. Our, Education our, our is income. off the uh, hook for a little while here while we talk about health care. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's a huge issue. Our costs are rising so fast. And one of the biggest things that I've learned through all my research is, and, and this is co common knowledge in the healthcare industry, is um, 70% of all illnesses and therefore all costs of healthcare are based on what are called lifestyle diseases. Um, and so those are diseases that in large part, not 100% certainly, but in a large part can be attributed to your behaviors and so your fitness, um, where you live and um, how you live it and then the food that you put in your body. And so if we can get a handle on that, we might be able to get a handle on our healthcare costs and then therefore get a handle on health insurance and providing coverage or access to care for, for anybody who needs it. Um, and the, big, the biggest challenge for this is how do you get people to care about it? I mean, when you're making, right. you know, making them numbers, but 12 bucks an hour and you're just struggling to pay rent, and you, you know, that dollar double cheeseburger is not sounding too bad because at least you can go on with your other expenses. No, that's exactly right. And that's what the research shows too, over and over again, is that people um, in certain income thresholds, um, you know, here it would really be that self-sufficiency wage and below. Um, that's the choices that they're making is what is the most calorie dense food that I can, and the cheapest food that I can feed myself and my children so that we have the calories to make it through the day. And those, that food is the most processed, has the most high fructose corn sugar in it, um, and the most calories, the most fat, bad fat, and therefore causes obesity. So it's very possible actually to be undernourished and overweight or obese. And that's what we're seeing in a lot of the um, the inequitable um, sex of our community, with income being one of them. So big challenges to try and yeah help yeah. get that knowledge out there, and then also then try to change habits, which is also its own. Exactly, own and a lot of it's relating <coughs> to the food system, right? So right now our food system. This is. To be clear, Jen Fanning, as an individual, <laughs> making these statements, um, that uh, a lot of our, our food system supports the creation of processed food, high fructose corn syrup. It makes it really cheap and really easy to access. Well, what happens if we were to instead, people don't like the word subsidize, but the fact of the matter is a lot of our food is subsidized corn, for example, is su subsidized, which is why high fructose corn syrup is in literally everything. Um, so what if we were to subsidize fruits and vegetables and right. farmers who grow fruits and vegetables and like pay them a monthly wage to grow fruits and vegetables and get rid of the subsidization of um, corn except in limited amounts for fresh fruits and vegetables, right? That's just right? an example. But that's right, just exactly. an example. And then the <clears throat> fruits and vegetables would actually be cheap. And the other and then stuff... And the low income, instead of eating junk food, you could be low income eating Exactly. And I mean, choices. you take a poll of just a casual poll, everybody knows fruits and vegetables are healthy for you. Right? And Everybody I knows that. I don't know that. agriculture terms because as the population keeps exploding, you know, how do you make enough fruits and vegetables to feed, mm -hmm. you know, what will eventually be a billion people in the U.S. or right. whatever it might be. And, uh, and those that, are all challenges that are so abstracting down the road, but 
Our here and now challenge is healthcare. How am I gonna pay for healthcare mm -hmm. insurance next year? And or <laughs> will we have it? So uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll come back. We're gonna talk a little bit about that as well as uh, fundraising and once again, uh, Boots, barbecue. Bulls, boots, and barbecue. Bulls, boots, and barbecue. Big event coming up. What's the date? Yeehaw! What was the date on that again? August 17th. All right, that's the big fundraiser coming up. We're talking with Jen Fanning, Grand County Rural Health, gcruralhealth.com. Check them out. We'll be back in a moment.